Hi, I'm Greg Conant with Navico. I'm here in Miami, February 2009 for the Miami International Boat Show, just starting this week. Navico is introducing the new broadband radar technology under the Lowrance, Simrad, and Northstar brands based on a totally new technology that we're bringing to the marine industry for the first time. It also has extremely low emissions, able to be mounted anywhere. And what we've done to introduce is we've invited 15 of the top journalists in the country to come check it out. It's, it's pretty close to a 10. There haven't been really any structural breakthroughs in radar in a long time. Um, what we saw today would enable people to use the product really effectively in close quarters better than any radar product that I'm aware of. I come from Maine where we can actually have fog so thick that you couldn't see that blue boat um, in my harbor. It's really nice to have an extra set of eyes like, like this. And, and other radars just are worthless in that kind of tight conditions. I think people who may have been thinking about buying a new boat aren't, but might buy new electronics. Well, it's very easy to use. It's really impressive at very short ranges. This particular radar, because it's low power, easy to install, um, and the quality of it uh, will be very attractive. When we took out the boat today, we saw two birds swimming on the water surface 30 feet away. If I hadn't seen that with my own eyes, I would not have believed it, but the radar did in fact show that. So there are a lot of guys that have big boats, real potent stuff for the long distance views. They're going to be putting this one as a secondary unit so they can also see incredibly close, fine detail up close with good target separation. And it also gives them a backup unit in case the main ra radar goes down. It's off the charts for new products. What I like about it is, is the low power uh, consumption that it has. It makes it easier to run on a a two battery system without having to have a house battery. Makes it easier for you to fish all day without worrying about battery power, whether or not your alternators are keeping up and the rest of your electronics are drawing things down. What <clears throat> I like the fact that it's instant on. You don't have a 90 second warm up period. Half the time when you want radar, by the time it's over the 90 second period, what you were thinking of wanting to see is gone. So, um, you know, it's, it's completely spontaneous and able to turn it on right away. The detail as you came into port and you could distinguish a guy's tender um, idling around the boat from the boat 50 feet away. That was pretty nice. For the most part, you recommend that people not go down the ICW after dark for good reason. Uh, you just can't uh, you know, you, you can't tell where you are all the time very well. There, there are obstacles. There, you know, there's branches floating in the water. Uh, and from the demonstration here, the, the fact that you can see things very close to the vessel uh, using the Navico uh, broadband radar really opens up some more options for people to, you know, go later. You know, go go at night if they have to, rather than uh, you know try to find a place to to anchor. They could probably keep going to that marina. You know, so it, so it, 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 it really would bring up a lot of options for folks. Uh, great screen clarity, you know, it, it really, it, it's really, really pretty amazing. It's kind of a game changer. Thank you for joining us here in Miami. It was my pleasure to introduce Navico Broadband Radar.